to Food of Our Flag and Families. I'm Tara Concepcion, and throughout these series, I'll be joined by many of my family members. The start of the show is because I was Concepcion in New York, along with my husband, James, and we're going to take you on a food journey from where we began in life to where we currently are. So welcome to our kitchen and our home. Today, we're going to start in New York on our first video and it's gonna be dirty water dogs and a take on the onion sauce that goes on top that our family does. And then afterward, we're also gonna do a drink, as some may know, formerly as the Manhattan, with a little twist to it called the Brooklyn. Today we're going to use an all beef hot dog. We prefer the Kirkland Costco dog, but you can use Nathan, Sabres, whatever you prefer, or whatever you like. At least two tablespoons of regular white distilled vinegar. And then you want one teaspoon of cumin. Now you can always add more. I love cumin. Um, it's one of my favorite spices to work with. And um, then you just want to do a pinch of nutmeg. So um, I just recommend that you just put it in your hand and literally just take a pinch and sprinkle it in there. You can add a little more um, if you feel like you need more. And then you're gonna just take the dogs and stick them in the water. And since we're using pressure cooker and my hot dogs were already thawed, um, you only want them to go for about four minutes. And you're gonna do 12 hot dogs. Um, you can always cut, you know, cut it down to less, but I recommend if you are, I wouldn't use a pressure cooker. Just cook them on the stove and bring them to a boil there. And you can use the same um, amounts. It's gonna be two quarts of water that go in the pot. So then, um, we're gonna stop here for a second and let these hot dogs cook. Yum. Getting back to the hot dogs, uh, we're doing the onion sauce. Um, first you wanna start with, I like to use fresh ingredients, but you could use your store-bought frozen, they can be chopped, they can be sliced. I like them sliced just like they have them in the city. And also with some peppers, just to kick it up a notch. Um, the first thing you want is you wanna get your frying pan nice and warm. And you wanna take about a tablespoon of olive oil and put it in your pot and wait for that to warm. Once that gets heated up, then you're going to throw your onions in and let those get kind of like softened, but not too caramelized because um, you don't want it to get too mushy. Now, um, for this, I also use a barbecue sauce and you can choose whatever barbecue sauce you want it can be tomato based um, it can be vinegar based I prefer the vinegar based Carolina sauces they're a little bit sweeter and tangy um, and they got a little spice to them as well I'm just going to turn that flame up a little bit so we're back to cooking the onions you can see that they're starting to get a little translucent there um, and now we're going to grab our peppers and our garlic um, I just use a regular teaspoon, plastic teaspoon of garlic, throw that in there, just do about one or two. I love garlic, it's also one, one of our staples here in our home. Um, and you can use any kind. I use uh, ones that are in water, because you never know what you're cooking. It may not require the, the, the soaking oil. So I just use the ones in water. And then straight to LA, New York, Vegas to Africa. Dance the night away, live your life and stay young on the floor. Grab your bowl of peppers and throw them in there. Now you can use green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, any color pepper you want. Um, I prefer my colored peppers just because they look nicer. And the only one we're missing is a, a green pepper. But just use what you have on hand. And again, you can use the ones that are frozen. You can buy them at the store or in a bag with the onions and peppers that are cut up and, and mix. And we're just going to let that sit there. And I'm going to cover it with a lid and let that reduce. Mix it in really good right now. It smells amazing in here. Um, you can even hear the pressure cooking releasing over there. So next you need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And obviously this is the taste, so whatever you prefer in your household is, is what you put in. Um, you know, I just do a few turns, about three to four turns on here, and then I use Himalayan salt. Um, if you don't have Himalayan salt, you don't have to 
use Himalayan salt, you can use iodized salt, or just a little bit of kosher salt. Um, just, you know, with the salt, less is more. So if you do too much, it's really going to um, overpower your uh, flavors here. Then you also want to throw in, like I said, I like a Carolina sauce. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of this 57 salt. Um, I would say that's about two tablespoons. And the same with the barbecue sauce. I'll do another two tablespoons of this. And we'll put a little bit of celery salt. Let's give it a little bit of that celery flavor. And a little bit of Italian seasoning because, you know, it is New York after all. And love our Italian food over there. And that's going to be pretty much it. We're going to add a little bit of water. And yes, it's okay to make a mess. It happens. We are not professionals here, so we are just home cooking. And it's going to turn this really nice um, orangey, light brown kind of mustardy color. Um, and you'll start to smell the, all the flavors coming together. But I recommend, you just kind of want to look, because depending on the barbecue sauce you use, um, you don't want the sauce to be too thick, and you want everything to kind of just meld together. And that's going to take about another three minutes or so, and then we'll check it again. As you can see here, the onions and peppers, they're wilted just perfectly. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to come back to our other workstation where our wonderful hot dogs are ready and sitting in the pot. Um, and I just want to take that lid off and smell those flavors of the cumin and the vinegar. We've got one pepper here and a pack of, three, of tricolored peppers. So there's a yellow and orange and a red in there. And oh my gosh, if you could just smell that. It is amazing. You can smell the cumin. You can smell a little bit of the nutmeg. Most importantly, the hot dog, amazing. I like doing it in a pressure cooker because it soaks in the flavor. It kind of like infuses it into the dog. And then um, it doesn't take as long for the flavors to get in as it would on the stove. You kind of want to have them sit there for a little while. And then we're just going to take some of these peppers and onions. I'm starving right now. This is so amazing. And we're just going to put those on top. And you can also do just some regular sauerkraut. Um, I mean, that's normally how people get it also. I like the onions. I add the, the dazzle of the, the pepper. But um, people usually do the sauerkraut and just spicy mustard, which is a typical um, dog. And um, it's pretty economical uh, when you're when you're there in New York to get the hot dogs. Now, last time I had one on the street in New York, it was probably like a dollar and some change. So there's no telling um, what they're selling them for now. But uh, this is our version of the Dirty Water Dog from New York. From our house to yours, have a good day. And we'll see you next time to do the Brooklyn. The link will be there and the ingredients will be down below of the... Um, the channel. Thanks.